personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, interesting stuff coming out the heavyweight division, and the heavyweight division just seems to have a lot of interesting news coming out these days, but uh, your boy, Joe Joyce, the juggernaut, the guy that right now I feel, based on who he's being, based on his resume, and based on their performances, Right now, I think he, he he's holding down the number one spot as the best heavyweight in the world who, who's not a champion. So the best heavyweight that's not named Fury or Usyk right now, to me, is Joe Joyce. You know, he's holding that spot down. Now, uh, it looks like he's going to be getting a pretty stiff test this next fight. And because uh, it, it, it was reported by Keith Eidek in conjunction with Michael Coppinger that Joe Joyce will be fighting for the... Um, the interim title, the, the WBO interim title, basically meaning that he's fighting for the interim title. That probably means Fury and Usyk are, are going to be fighting next. So the date that that's being scheduled and targeted is April fifteenth, um, and that's what it is, man. And I gotta say, what a matchup! I mean, what an absolute matchup. You know, we we, we got first first and foremost, we got, we got Zhang Jale, who's one of the most murderous punchers in the heavyweight division. We've seen that in his career. We've seen that in his fights with Philip Hergovich, Jerry Forrest, and other fights. A lot of people, uh, a great amount of people uh, are of the belief that Zhang beat Hergovich. I, I don't. I think Her Hergovich just beat him by a point. But it was a very close fight that could have went either way. And his stock rose exponentially. And to me, I think I feel like anybody who fights Zhang Jalei, if you weren't taking him serious before Hergovich, you, you're definitely taking him serious now because he's a big, strong, southpaw power punch heavyweight. And there, there's just not much guys like that. He's probably one of the only guys in terms of size and mass that is just as big as Joe Joyce, you know? So I kind of view this as like two of the biggest punches in the weight class fighting each other. And I, and I, and I think it's a great fight. I think it's a, it's a chance for Joe Joyce to measure himself against his fellow Olympic medalists in, in Hergovich. And um, just see where he stands. See if he, see if he can do a better job with uh, Zhang than Hergovich did because um, Joe Joyce, thus far, he's 15 and 0, 14 knockouts. He's, he's stopped everybody in his path except Ryan Jennings. Ryan Jennings, who's a, ironically, who's a smaller man, is the only guy to take in the distance. And, and I thought he performed very well against uh, Joe Joyce. He just had the punch power to keep him honest. But uh, this is a bit of a different fight because Zhang does have the kind of pop to keep Joyce honest. And my thing is, what kind of Zhang are we going to get in, in, in this fight? Because... Right now, I mean, the last fight was he was 39 years old. He fought Hergovich. It was a fight that he easily could have won, and he he, he could have got the nod for it. He did more than enough to get the nod for it. He didn't get the decision. So now mentally, psychologically speaking, you got to ask yourself the question of where is Zhang at? Does he have the mental fortitude and wherewithal to get up and be that same determined Zhang that he was when he fought Hergovich? Because um, I want to see him be that Zhang. I, I want to see him be that determined guy that fought Hergovich because... Um, Truth be told, I, I kind of want him to win. I want him to win this fight just so people can start get, get off Hargovich's back. But um, it's a great test for Joyce. I feel like if Joyce wins it, it just makes the resume that much better. Because then you're looking at like, you know, he'd have like Brian Jennings on the resume, uh, Parker, Dubois, Zhang. I mean, you, 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 you'd be talking about Joe Joyce at this point. If he beat Zhang, Joe Joyce goes ahead and he winds up having the best. He probably has a better resume than some guys that have been champion. Like, truth be told, if, if, if he beats Zhang... It's debate. It's actually very debatable. I think he's got a better resume than Wilder if he beats Zhang, because the depth of it is just crazy. And then you know you start matching it up with the other guys' depth of resume, and it's, it starts getting pretty good. And he hasn't even fought for a heavyweight title yet. So, uh, you know, credit to Joe Joyce. He's taking on the challenges. You know, Zhang is high risk, low reward. A lot of guys don't want to fight him. You only fight Zhang if you have to fight him, and he's in he's in one of the positions where he kind of has to fight him. So, uh, I like it. I like it. And then if he beats him. It makes a massive statement, and you know, for Zhang, if if he beats if he beats somehow beats Joyce, then all of a sudden he's back into title contention, and it makes that Hergovich rematch a lot more realistic. You know, I just interviewed Hergovich about that recently, earlier in the month, and Hergovich has said many times, "I'd love to fight a Zhang in the rematch." You know, he 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 didn't he didn't rule it out. He said he wants that smoke, and he feels like he'll knock him out if they fight again. But you know, we can't we can't think too far ahead. Zhang has to get past a very very daunting task, and and may God be with him because Joe Joyce. Is nothing to play with. I mean, he's got that piston-like jab. It's a consistent jab. It's a volume jab. It's a jab that it's a, it's a jab that helps him and allows him to throw upwards of eighty-five to hundred plus punches per round. And when you factor his size, his physical strength, his height, um, his width, as 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 far as his body's concerned, 
it just makes him one of the toughest, most dangerous heavyweights in the division. So, um, just an intriguing fight. Like, to me, this is probably one of the most interesting fights that could have been made in the heavyweight division between guys that don't have a belt, you know? So, um, looking very forward to it. And, and, and to be told, I hope that nothing interferes with them uh, getting this fight done and finalized because um, I want to see this fight. You know, I think Hergovic and, and Joyce could be a fight for the future. And this is a great fight. This is a great way to measure, to measure like, you know, just where exactly uh, Joyce is because th this is a common point with Hergovic. And see where Zhang is at because if Zhang has anything left in the tank, this is going to be an amazing fight. This, this, this could be fight of the year uh, candidate type of stuff. Um, but if he doesn't, then I feel like George Joyce is going to st stomp a hole right through him because we've seen Zhang, even in, even in the Hergovic fight when he fought great, towards the back half of that fight, he didn't, you know, have that stamina that they had in the first six rounds. But he was determined. So what, let, let, let's see what he can do. But that's the news. You guys, let me know what you think. Uh, Joe Joyce, the juggernaut, you know, the juggernaut versus Big Bang. The big, the big Bang versus the juggernaut. I mean, I, I really can't think of too many better matchups that you can you could have made in this big class. And then winner of this fight probably winds up becoming the WBO mandatory because this is an interim fight. In the intermediate period, these guys are fighting for that mandatory spot. So Zhang, Zhang could actually come through the back door like cops and robbers. And, and, and get a mandatory spot if he wins this fight. So best of luck to him and best of luck to, to, to Joe Joyce because he's going to need it. But let me let me know what you guys think of Joyce versus Zhang. What do you make of it? Who are you picking to win? What, what kind of choice are you giving Zhang Jale in this fight? Uh, leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on The Untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.